हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू चैप्टर फोर पार्ट टू मेटीरियल्स मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल डिस्कस ऑन फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स नॉन मेटल्स टेन टू बी हाईली वॉलेटाइल दैट मीन्स दे गेट इजिली वेपराइज दे हैव लो इलास्टिसिटी एंड आर गुड इंसुलेटर्स ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सेवेंटीन एलिमेंट्स आर जनरली क्लासिफाइड एज नॉन मेटल्स नॉन मेटल्स कैन बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सॉलिड्स लिक्विड्स एंड और गैसेस एट रूम टेम्परेचर सम नॉन मेटल्स लाइक कार्बन सल्फर एंड फॉस्फरस आर सॉलिड्स एट रूम टेम्परेचर ब्रामिन इज अ लिक्विड एट रूम टेम्परेचर मोस्ट अदर नॉन मेटल्स लाइक ऑक्सीजन हाइड्रोजन नाइट्रोजन एंड क्लोरिन आर गैसेस एट रूम टेम्परेचर हीलियम नियम क्रिप्टन एंड आर्गन आर कॉल्ड नॉवल गैसेस और इनर गैसेस बिकॉज दे डो नॉट रिएक्ट विद अदर एलिमेंट्स नॉन मेटल्स आर एन लास्ट रेस विच मीन्स दे आर डाल सो नॉन मेटल्स आर जेनरली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पाउडर और आर गैसेस दे के नॉट बी पॉलिश दे डो नॉट हैव एन लास्टर डायमंड ए फॉर्म ऑफ कार्बन इज एन एक्सेप्शन it is highly lustrous non metals are generally soft so non metals are soft materials diamond a form of carbon is an exception it is a harder substance found in nature malleability non metals are not malleable but they are brittle so brittleness is a characteristic property of non metals ductility metals are not ductile they cannot be hammered or beaten into thin sheets they break into pieces when hammered sonorous non metals are not sonorous that means it it cannot produce sound when heat with a hammer so it doesn't make any characteristic sound when heat with an object non metals generally have low density as compared to metals melting and boiling points non metals have low melting and boiling points except graphite and diamond they have high melting points hardness and softness so non metals are generally soft in nature they don't conduct electricity so they are good for making protective coverings for wires getting electricity but non metals are bad conductors of heat and electricity so students these are some of the physical properties of non metals now we shall move on to chemical properties of non metals non metals react with oxygen to form non metal metallic oxides but they do not react with water or dilute acids so when sulfur is heated it combines with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide sulfur plus oxygen giving you so2 sulfur dioxide when carbon is heated it combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide c plus carbon plus oxygen giving you co2 carbon dioxide reaction with water generally non metals do not react with water though they may be very reactive in air such non metals are stored in water for example phosphorus is a very reactive non metal it catches fire if exposed to air to prevent the contact of phosphorus with atmospheric oxygen it is stored in water reaction with acids non metals generally do not react with acids so these are chemical properties of non metals now let us learn some important uses of non metals silicon silicon is found in freeze element in nature so silicon is used for making electronic components like transistors integrated circuits microprocessors and chips used in computers it is also used in the manufacture of cutting and grinding of tools in industries 
quartz crystals or known as silico uh, silicon dioxide SO2 is used in watches. Silicon is also used for making glass and cement. It is also used for making waterproof cloth and insulation. Next, phosphorus. It exists in many forms. Red phosphorus and yellow phosphorus are the two common forms of phosphorus. It is not found as free element in nature. So phosphorus is used in making fertilizers. Red phosphorus is used to make match stick heads. It is also used in fireworks. Some phosphorus are poisonous, so it is used for making chemicals that kill pests like rats. Graphite. It is a form of carbon. It is soft and slippery and is used as a lubricant in powder form. Pencil lead is made of graphite. It is a good conductor of electricity and is used as electrodes. It is also used in the making of steel. Sulfur. Sulfur is used to make sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is used in manufacture of many compounds such as detergents, plastics and explosives. It is also used in, in rubber industry to improve elasticity and strength or to harden rubber. This process is known as vulcanization. Sulfur is also used in the manufacture of fireworks, agricultural pesticides and artificial hair color dyes. So these are some of the uses of non-metals and these are the topics in chapter 4 part 2 video. If you have any doubt, you are most welcome to call me up and ask. Thank you students. Have a pleasant day.